century, America, along with the rest of the world, has become increasingly dependent on the automobile. Although this invention allows for major improvements in transportation, it also creates problems as well. Fossil fuels have become scarce, yet they are becoming a major demand. This causes the gas prices to rise. Prices have risen so far as $50 per tank of gas for the SUV. We're out of gas again! Could you just filled up yesterday? I hate gasoline! However, the use of fossil of fuels is not only troubling economically, but environmentally as well. The burning of these fossil fuels causes the greenhouse effect, which leads to global warming. In short, the greenhouse effect is a result of burning these fuels. Once these fuels are burned to gases, these gases remain in our atmosphere and trap the sunlight. Because more sunlight is trapped within the atmosphere, the temperature of the earth rises as well. This is called global warming. Because people are becoming more aware of the damage caused by fossil fuels, scientists are experimenting with alternative energy sources for automobiles. Some of the main alternatives are hydrogen, solar power, fuel cells, biodiesel, liquefied petroleum gas, liquefied neutral gas, alcohol, electricity, and hybrid cars. In America, the main new alternative source is the hybrid car. These cars are probably the most popular because they're the less dramatic switch. This is because hybrid cars use petrol electric power as well as fossil fuels. Consumers um, are used to using gas but at the same time are willing to branch out to help the environment and save money. One unique property of the hybrid is regenerative braking. This means that when the brake pedal is activated, the car will switch to the stored energy of the battery instead of the fossil fuels. This saves the burning of gas while the car is at standstill, like in traffic or at a red light. Because of the positive response of the American public to the hybrid car, many car companies are beginning to manufacture these cars. For example, Honda, Chevy, Lexus, Toyota, Saturn, Ford, Mercury, Hyundai, and Nissan all have pioneered in producing these hybrid cars for the public. Another energy source in the making is hydrogen. Although this source has not yet been released to cars in the public, it looks as though it will be the most environmentally safe source if perfected. Power is obtained from hydrogen through a process called electrolysis. During electrolysis, um, electricity is used to split the H2O into hydrogen and oxygen. The hydrogen is then used as a power source. Biodiesel is becoming increasingly popular in Europe and especially in Australia. Biodiesel is a diesel fuel but is made from plant and animal waste and fat. It is environmental in that it helps to reuse materials that would otherwise be considered waste. Another type of energy source is solar power. These cars hold major advantages and disadvantages. The major advantage is that the car requires no more energy besides that of the sun, so the cost of driving is pretty low. This car also stores energy from especially sunny days so it can run on cloudy ones. However, the main disadvantage is that this car would only really benefit those in warm areas because the car does require a certain amount of sun. This limits the number of consumers interested in this car. We hope that by knowing a little more about the problems that fossil fuels cause and the types of cars that will save you money and help the environment, you will consider purchasing um, a car which uses alternative energy.